Hi there, beach friends. Today, we are going to three different beautiful locations on one shell tour. So we will be leaving from the Goodland Marina under a full moon, and we're going to be heading out to our first stop, which is Dickman's. Now, I haven't been to Dickman's since Hurricane Ian, so it'll be nice to see what that area looks like. Here we have some white pelicans. They're the second largest bird in North America, and they are pretty awesome. They migrate down here in the winter, smart birds, to get away from that cold northern air. But today, we are going to be traipsing around finding some pretty awesome stuff. Again, like I said, we're going to be going to three different locations. I'm going to tell you all about it. It is so fun. I can't wait to share. So if you're ready to see what's out there for us today, let's go to the beach. Okay, we have landed over here on Dickman's Island, and this is just a little bit south of Marco Island, kind of where the 10,000 islands actually start. And I'm making my way to the Gulf, that's where I want to do most of my shelling, but I'm not going to pass up this pretty awesome sun ray Venus clam that is hinged, bonus. So I'm making my way down to the Gulf. See what hopefully is rolling around in the water there. There is that full moon. Is it helping us? I don't know. I will tell you though that it's going to be a really fun day. Look at the size of this sand dollar. It is massive. And I was actually really bummed. I didn't have anything big enough to put that in. And I'm like, oh, so I just was really really careful. We'll see how that works out for me. Here is a critter. So we have a lightning whelk and you can clearly see its little antennas on the left and right of the shell and then its siphon kind of coming out of the front of the shell. Really cool. So that lightning whelk just kind of cruising around probably looking for a snack. Here is a second one that I saw. And here is a live lettered olive. Love saying hi to the, and these guys look so alien to me. Burp, they kind of do. <laughs> love them, love them. So that is a live lettered olive. I'm just, again, say, say quick hi. We have lots of seashells to go hunting for. And that little critter is just gonna crawl right back into the sand. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Not piles and piles right here, but definitely I'm seeing some of those sand dollars. Yep. So I will fill my, at least my smaller container I can fill with these sand dollars. Oh, and another Sunray Venus clam. Oh, really cool coloring. Neat pattern on that. It's like it started like when it was small and then it just kind of gave up on the color like ah eh, I'm gonna go with the blonde color. I guess here is a rough scallop Lovely the bottom little little piece is kind of broken on the bottom, but that's okay Gorgeous rough scallop now. This is one of those moments when I'm like You are kidding me this like baseball size all right maybe not a baseball giant golf ball size moon snail <gasps> oh my gosh it's perfect my heart is like hammering i only have four other ones about this size and i know that because i sleep with them under my pillow so i know that that gorgeous moon snail. It's only the fifth one I'm going to add to my collection. I'm so excited about that big fat moon snail and what a glorious morning. 
be kind of walking around in the shallow water looking for seashells. Now, this was also quite interesting to me. This is a lace murex. And I do see something in there, and that something in there in the shell is an operculum. Typically, that would mean the animal is in there. But this time, that's not what happened. I kind of rinsed it out, and the operculum just kind of popped out of the shell. So normally, you're not able to collect the operculum with the animal, but this time I'm going to be able to do that without actually, you know, without actually live collecting. So the animal is deceased and the operculum's in that little shell. Kind of neat. So that was a lace murex. Oh, look at that. Yep, this is what I'm looking at. Look at that massive angel wing. That thing had some weight to it. It doesn't have a little scoop on the inside. But this thing, this is not fragile. That was a fantastic, like really, really sturdy hunk of an angel wing. Oh, I'm so excited. So between the moon snail, the giant angel wing, I'm like, yep, it's gonna be a great day. And here we have kind of just this smattering of ponderous arcs. There might be a, yeah, there's definitely a couple of fighting conks in there as well, but kind of just this mass Pile. Nothing really great. What am I going to pick out of here? Okay, abandoned tulip. A little bit chewed up with the aperture, but that's all right. So yeah, just always interesting to kind of check out these big piles. Ooh. A hinged spiny jewel box. Awesome. I love, love, love finding them. It's a little dirty. It's going to need a little bit of cleaning. But really cool to find a hinged spiny jewel box. And I did not forget about the sand dollar. I'm definitely going to take that too. It's beautiful. Five hole keyhole sand dollar. Guys, gals, beach friends. I love when that happens. So this beautiful alphabet cone just sitting there. And honestly, I have not found this like orange color in a while. Most of the cones I've been finding are the chocolate ones. So it's very nice to find this like orange alphabet cone. And lettered olive. Beautiful, shiny, pointy lettered olive. Gorgeous. And another, I do like some good spikes. So it's not hinged, but still pretty awesome. Have ourselves another spiny jewel box. So here is Dickman's. Now I was, or I have filmed this. This is toward the beginning of December. And it's, the temperature is fantastic. We're gonna check on that in a minute. There's me, hi guys. So checking in, the tide is coming in, but it was a negative tide, it was really low and it's 69 degrees out so i do have like a windbreaker on but it's really comfortable nothing to complain about and i was finding so many sand dollars i broke out this other bag so i'm filling that like i said it's always good to have extra bags with you they seem to come in handy for me and i am gonna snag this pear whelk too i know that there's a lot of stuff on it but i'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that pear whelk as well now, word on the street is that we are going to be going to a second location. So at this point, I'm like, okay, cool. I got my bag of sand dollars. I know that they will be safe up on the boat. And as I'm kind of waiting for everybody else to gather to get back on the boat, I found this other fantastic angel wing. All right, that'll clean up just fine. And another. Huh, go figure. So Dickman's was fantastic for the angel wings as well as the sand dollars and of course that massive moon snail. Another really nice angel wing, just kind of wash that off. Lots of barnacles, shouldn't have too much of a problem with those. And then this lovely little horse conch. So thanks Dickman's, that was kind of fun. We got ourselves a bunch of great stuff and now we're on to location number two. So this, we are still in the 10,000 Island system and we have relocated to a different place. Dickman's had some stuff, 
but our captains and our short our guides like to make sure that we find lots of great stuff here is another wonderful shark eye so that is a moon snail and that is a moon snail wow and that's a moon snail no way so i'm having myself a great old time all of these moon snails i wow can't believe it and another oh man that's never happened i've never found a place where i was just picking up moon snail after moon snail there's a colorful moon snail that little orange or yellow looking one so these are all moon snails there's shark eyes and then the colorful moon snail and an olive wow Woo -hoo! so i'm not going to complain about moving locations it's kind of nice that our captains are looking out for us and i'll talk about that in a little bit Let's give you all the details top snail moon snail and that was a banded tulip <gasps> so fun another that is a colorful moon snail awesome and another that one i'm actually probably gonna leave here but this one i'll probably take that one so so fun to have so many oh <laughs> really really fun and the worm snails like them too yep a couple of worm snails and another colorful moon snail also known as a gaudy nautica so those colorful moon snails have two names so we got a bunch of worm snails and a gaudy nautica that is awesome and i have learned that when an episode happens and you happen to find a lot of the same shell i do grab as many as i can because i never know when it's going to happen again this for example this has never happened to me i have never shown up somewhere and ha got handfuls of moon snails so cool so that is a florida cone and another worm snail So I'm just looking for any, I mean, really anything. There's no shell that I won't, at least there's a base scallop, at least take a peek at anything interesting. Uh, at least the view is not too shabby. And here is a buttercup lucene. Very nice. And I think I'm going to relocate over there and give you guys some beach time. to slow down to pick up this lovely pear whelk. All right, I have a couple little chips in it, but it is still a gorgeous seashell. And this is a paper fig. I know that shape looks a lot like that pear whelk, but it's a little different. That is a paper fig. Oh, another little worm snail. Looks like a no shortage of those here. I was pretty excited about it. I do love me some good worm snails. And no, that was not a Wentzel trap. That was a fly speck Sarah. Oh, boring turret snail. Cool. That didn't, uh, looks just like a little worm snail, but that was a boring turret snail. So this is so fun for me. Just when there's so many of the same shell and I don't normally get to see that. So that's kind of cool. Oh, 
Oh, more worm snails and an angel wing. Today was a great day for angel wings. Awesome. Oh, another, yay. <laughs> yeah, I got some worm snails and angel wings. I'm not managing to hold that at all. <laughs> all right, here we have a fantastic lightning well. Great size, just kind of hanging out there. Awesome. And a crown conch. The color, eh, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, the size, I'm definitely going to hold on to it. I'm not leaving that gorgeous shell here. I'll just have to kind of see how that looks when it cleans up. We shall see. And I do still have those moon snails on the brain. Awesome. Another moon snail. Never had a day like that. I've had so many. I'm pumped. And look. A hinged rose petal talon. Awesome. I got a little itty bitty one last week and this week I kind of have like an adult size hinged rose petal talon. Awesome. So I was kind of wandering around on the sand away from the surf and I wasn't really finding all that much. So I figured when we come back here, I found all those moon snails, all those worm snails. There must be fun things here. What do we got? Another one of the worm snails. Anything up here? All right, looks like it's worm snails and moon, moon snails as well. And a crown conch. All right, there's a little bit of color on that one. It looks like it's half fossilized. Oh, the color on that is weird. So that's a pear whelk. But actually, the color on all of those are a little weird, aren't they? Just not a little bit faded, still neat. Now, these, this is a thick leucine. And I have found these very faded before. I didn't know that they had a yellow interior color. I thought that was so cool. So I normally only find them down here in the 10,000 Islands. And the other ones I've found have been more, like, just washed out. I didn't know. So that's a buttercup leucine. So that's got that yellow color. Kind of cool. That I knew all about. I didn't know about the thick leucine. This is one of those beach bowls. Technically, it is a giant Atlantic cockle. Do need me some beach bowls to hold all those goodies. This would have made a great beach bowl. This is a southern quahog. And it is massive. It is heavy. And again, I could have taken it and probably made some kind of really kind of cool bowl over it. I just don't have the time. So I'm not going to start collecting my supplies before I have the time. So once I have a little more time on my hands, I'll think about collecting some supplies to make projects. I'm definitely going to hold on to that lovely banded tulip just in case. I don't think I need a project for that. I think that's pretty just the way it is. Lettered olive. Terrific. Nice and pointy. Awesome lettered olive. Oh, a little horse conch. Not quite a pony. That's just a tiny little horse conch. And might as well grab a little worm shell while I'm here. No lack of those. Awesome. Another shark eye. And some of these, like, and it's happened before, they have like white lines. Now I know that there are species where some of the moon snails actually have those white lines in them. And sometimes down here we'll also find them with those, the white lines, kind of weird. More of those leucines. So those are the thick leucines I was telling you about. And I'm just like tickled to see that they are so yellow. I, like I said, I didn't know. I hadn't found one that was more fresh. All right, what other kind of goodies are up here? All right, I guess I abandoned the area up there and went back to the water and scored myself a pretty awesome fighting conch, if I do say so myself. So that is a Florida fighting conch. And that's another one of those 
Moon snail sign is a colorful moon snail, although it has no color. I, I don't know. Is it albino? I don't know. And then that is the shark eye, the, the second one I picked up. That is a shark eye. Again, a moon snail. So that's a shark eye, a little bit on the white side. We have a colorful moon snail, but is the wrong color in front. Still gonna hold on to that. So I know they look really, really similar. And even on the reverse, they kind of, they do look similar. They're both moon snails, just one's a shark eye and one is a Gorinorica or a colorful moon snail. Hope I cleared that up for you. That is a true tulip. Gorgeous, it's little, and look at this little crown conch. Fantastic color on that. It's it's a wee little shell, but it's got great color. And a nice little calico scallop. Awesome, so there's some nice colors on those shells. And we have a critter. Okay, not gonna be able to collect that shell. Critter is not quite done with it yet, so we're gonna leave that right, right there. Well, what do we have here? Now, it's not perfect, but still a great size. That is an alphabet cone. Fantastic. Woohoo. And another, sure, okay. Sure, I'll take that. Wow, that's kind of got some neat patterns on there. So they're called the alphabet cones because sometimes some of those little patterns they make will look like alphabet letters or letters of the alphabet. That one just kind of had Morse code. So oh, still looking, see if, I, if I've left any moon snails behind or alphabet cones or, or worm snails. Oh, something different. Here we have a common nutmeg. Oh dear, there's a little shell in there. Let's get that out so we can appreciate the real spiral interior of those nutmegs. Lovely little shell. So that is a common nutmeg. Well, hello apple murex. I'm normally picking up lots and lots of apple murex, but not today, at least not in that location. Now, we are on Kais Island, so we are on the third island of the day. Kais is usually pretty good, but uh, I was thankful that the guides kept us away from the bugs in the morning. So we were hanging out on Dickman's, we went to that other key, looked for all those moon snails, and now we're on Kais. No shortage of shells. It's just a matter of what are we gonna concentrate our efforts on? So I'm probably gonna walk a little bit toward the interior of the island. See if I can find myself some piles on the way. Look, wow, that's a pretty big apple murex right there. Yep, they don't get, or I don't normally find them quite that big. Pretty cool. And then this little horse cock was alive. You can see it's a little operculum there. So we are going to leave, leave this gorgeous little critter here. There you go, friend. It looks like we're gonna go ahead and hold on to that juvenile fighting conch. Uh, well, yeah, you can see there's some debris. That is from Hurricane Ian. Thanks, Ian. But in addition to some of the debris, there's still a whole bunch of shells just that were kind of kicked up and strewn all over Kais Island like this pretty awesome lightning loaf just kind of sitting there and yeah that is a terrific find not even a little one nice lightning loaf this one too so the little ones or you know these are on the smaller side compared to the size that they can get they tend to keep that color oh pretty so here's another whelk that is a pear whelk it's in great shape. Nice size. That is a beautiful shell. So that is a pear whelk. And look, that's a pretty good size banded tulip. Awesome. So I'm having so much fun today just because it's kind of different. It's a little bit different than the stuff I 
I feel like I normally find when I'm out. Look at the size of that Apple Murex. That is a monster. Awesome. Awesome. Apple Murex. Great find. So lots of pen shells. I am still looking for that horse conch. And if I happen to kind of like get a whiff of something real stinky, I might go toward it. Wait a minute. All right, that is garbage. So I'm kind of looking for a horse conch, but so this big old piece of garbage. This is a cushion from, it really, it looks more like a, a like a couch, not something that you'd necessarily find on a boat. So I am going to remove that. For now, we're just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna still keep hunting around. And then when I'm heading back to the boat, I'll go ahead and grab that. And I saw this gorgeous orange kind of popping out. All right, that is a Florida cone. It definitely has been chewed up a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of, it needs a little help. I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm going to clean it up, see what happens. Oh, hi there, lightning whelk. Just trying to hide amongst all those pen shells. Another really nice looking lightning whelk. Whoa, yeah, it's got a whole ponderous arc in there. That is a great find. Awesome. And that is one of those colorful moon snails. I do find those on kites, not so much the shark eyes, the colorful ones, yes. All right, now what am I going for? I thought maybe that white faded out conch, but it looks like I'm going for another beautiful lightning whelk. Color on that one is really nice. And treacherous, a little treacherous here on Kais. Wow. So that's a gaudy nautica. I know it's a little bit beat up and I'm just kind of enamored at the size. That is a big one. And I know it's a little beat up. I'm gonna keep it anyway. I am gonna keep that gaudy nautica. What else? And a little bit of yellow for a horse conch. Yes. Awesome little horse conch. So that color yellow I really only see on the horse conks. All right, there's me, there's my garbage. We're gonna start heading back toward the boat. And hey, if I find a shell pile, I already have myself a little cushion to sit on, so that would be convenient. Not that I typically shell like that, but just in case, good to know. Or somebody else on the tour might wanna borrow, borrow my cushion. Oh, a lace murex, terrific. Definitely gonna slow down to pick up that. Gorgeous little shell, terrific. And all right, looks like a fighting conch I felt like I had to have. It's got a little bit of that certain kind of orange color to it that I do very much like. Yep, lovely fighting conch. Oh, wow, gorgeous orange on the other side. I'm gonna hold on to that awesome shell. See if there's anything. I'm sure there is. There was somebody that found a scotch bonnet. I heard somebody like shrieking, and then I heard, I thought maybe it was a Genonia, but it was a, somebody had found a scotch bonnet. So good for them. Now, normally when I'm leaving Kais, it kind of gives me like a shell, but it looks like today I kind of had to work for it. I had to dig it out myself, and it looks like the last shell we're going to find today is this apple murex. Well, Holy cow, that was fun. Three different locations, three completely different shelling experiences, all in the same trip. That's why I love going out with Allie and Carlos. You can book at either SWFL Shell Guide or Nautical Life Shelling Tours. Here are the websites where you can go book yourself a trip just like the one that I had. Every trip's gonna be different, but they will always do the best to make sure that you find those seashells. Now, I did take that cushion off the boat and I managed to weigh it there at the marina and I couldn't get it to kind of stick on a number. So we're just gonna round it at six and a half pounds. There were a couple smaller pieces I also snagged. And so together, my six and a half pounds of cushion plus my 0 0.106 pounds of other garbage comes to 6.608 pounds. And in total by myself, since I've been keeping track, I've removed a little over five, 15 and a half pounds of garbage off the beach, which I'm kind of 
kind of psyched about that. Now, other awesome things I removed from the beach, from Dickman's, that big sand dollar survived. I did manage to be very careful and I managed to keep it intact and home. The Florida Fighting Conks, some of those banded tulips. There's one true tulip in there also. We have a couple of top snails. We, the moon snails were so fun. There's so many of them. We got a couple of alphabet cones too, some of the lace murex. I also got a couple of Florida cones, some apple murex, and then up to the pear whelks, which was fun, the lightning whelks. They were fantastic, great size, a whole bunch of them. We got some sunray venus clams, a giant Atlantic cockle, some of those leucines, the worm snails, the paper figs, some Florida prickly cockles, a yellow prickly cockle, some bay scallops, some lettered olives, and then we have the main event, that massive moon snail. That really was that. I thought that was awesome. The massive angel wing, and then the hinged rose petal talon, and then that little operculum. Frankly, everything. Again, having those three different locations, three completely different shelling experiences all in one day. It was really, really fun. It really was. So thank you so very much for coming along with me on my little beach adventures and Patreons. Thank you so very much for monetarily supporting me and allowing me to go out and help my community and do things like these shell tours. Next week, we are going shelling again. I will see you on Sunday and I find something that crazy. You could have knocked me over with a feather. It's not that insane, but it was really, really fun. So you have yourself a great week and I will see you again next Sunday.